And uh, as Ed does nips off for a moment, we can invite our uh, first guest of the afternoon. It's uh, goalkeeping coach James Algar who's going to join us now. And uh, we've been trying to get James on for a few weeks, but he's, uh, he's on now. And uh, welcome to Poppy's TV. Thank you. And, Good uh, to be here. You've been out there with uh, Paul White uh, yep. having a few uh, practice uh, laps with him. But uh, <laughs> for the fans that uh, don't know much about you, James, how did the uh, move or how did you actually join uh, the Poppies? Well, actually, I was at rugby a couple of seasons ago. Um, and got talking to obviously I knew a few players at the time, Elliot Sandy and um, Nathan Marsh, who was doing the goalkeepers at the time. Um, he actually contacted me pre-season last year to say that his work commitments meant he wasn't able to commit fully. Would I be interested in sort of filling the void as and when? Um, absolutely delighted with that offer, accepted straight away. Um, and I think it kind of just improved there on. Marcus was, was happy with what I was doing and became pretty much full-time after kind of bitter for the way, after the little the, the, the bad run of results, I think my first proper game, fully pledged, was um, Brackley Saints. Oh, in the, yeah. in the North Anthony Cup. That's right. And they're, they're on, really. It's kind of just been myself, um, Nathan, as and when, last season. And then this year, um, it's been me pretty much full-time now. Um, three times a week with with all the goalkeepers that we're having at the moment. So, and outside of um, <laughs> the poppers, do uh, you have a goalkeeping school? I do. Um, and this morning, I've also travelled from Dagenham. Um, we had a youth team game for Northampton, so I also combine the role with the, the Northampton youth team goalkeepers. Um, also a goalkeeper school Monday evening in Northampton, eight year olds up to up to adults. So he just tried to promote that. <laughs> promote it to the, uh, the folks who have a go. Well, actually, I've actually got a few uh, academy catching goalkeepers already coming in, um, and I've worked with Josh, who was on the bench for the first team against St Neots and played in the FA Youth Cup on Thursday um, for the Poppies, and also Callum Snow, who's an upcoming um, apprentice at the moment. So. Um, I am familiar with a lot of the catching youngsters and also I know that Jamie McAlinden is working with them as well within the academy which is great so um, look, I think we're in a really good place for goalkeepers at the moment. Having said that, obviously uh, we've, had a, we've had quite a big turnover which I'm sure you're going to ask about next. Yeah, time. Ed and I have just been talking about uh, Craig <laughs> Hill and uh, Paul Walker and they were number one and number two at the beginning of the season but uh, both yeah. underperformed. Uh, what's your sort of take on that and bringing in Paul White? Um, no one can really argue about the fact or the qualities that Paul and, and Craig both had. I mean, Paul was, was so unfortunate. He did come from a championship winning side with Corby. Um, a horrific injury at Weymouth. Pretty much put him out for the season. Um, he, he just wasn't looking looking as, as we know Paul Paul looks. Is that a confidence thing? Um, I think so. Um, and I think it, it, it came from a consistent, consistent amount of games, which he wasn't really getting. Him and, him and Craig were, were competing. And... Um, me and the gaffer spoke a few weeks ago and we felt that with the personnel that we had in the change rooms now in terms of outfield players, we needed a, a goalkeeper that may not necessarily be the best shot stopper, um, but, but would be that character and that big personality to, to, to deal with the dressing room. And in Paul White, we've got um, an excellent character. Um, it's pretty commanding, isn't he, in vocal? Absolutely. Um, well respected within the dressing room. Um, it's his way or no way. And that, that, that's how it should be uh, with goalkeepers. And... On the train, got Mulligan to interpret. I, I, I was just, I'm actually going to say last week I watched it and I couldn't understand the word he was saying, so I was hoping for some subtitles. But um, no, but he's come in and been an a, a, absolute breath of fresh air, um, and he wants to push on as well. He's not coming here just to, to, to settle. He, want, he wants to improve. Like he said last week, his first game at Sydney was his first competitive game in 11 months, and we've just been speaking there look he's, he's going to move down he's sorting out house in Kettering so we're going to work and, and we're going to do our best to keep that number one spot now that consistency that's needed um, How about young Jamie Dean I mean unfortunately made his debut and it was uh, a bit of a shame for him really he was man of the match though in, in, in that uh, victory but uh, good committed lad uh, young lad um, how's he developed? Excellent and, and Jamie came to me pre-season uh, he worked with me Paul and Craig consistently week in week out um, and, and was brilliant for us and, and that's what we needed we needed someone that, that was there committed and you can't fault his effort um, and, and he did really he, he did okay I was about to say really, he did okay Tuesday night he, he knows that he can improve and, and the reason that he's here is that he can learn from the other goalkeepers and basically be the best he can be he's not, not here to be the world beater he's, he's, he's here to improve himself and you can't fault him and you can't give him any less than what you do the other so I'm really pleased he's on board and I know that he'll be supporting so Go back to your to your youth, if you can remember that far back, uh, like me. <laughs> 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 well, I can't remember mine. But uh, goalkeeping heroes, you must have a few. 
Um, I actually met one a fortnight ago in David Seaman. Uh, I was on a, on a goalkeeping I camp. I saw that. Yeah, Twitter, yeah, yeah. Goalkeeping camp in Haleybury, and, and David Seaman came in and, and shared his his World Cup um, experiences with us, which was which was an unbelievable. Did he mention Brazil? Did he? He didn't actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> he actually he spoke about that save at Sheffield United, which was was phenomenal, and, and another goalkeeper here of mine, Peter Schmeichel, same sort of era. Um, they, they were goal line goalkeepers. They they made the saves on their goal line. I mean, the game's evolving now. You've got goal line goalkeepers, and you've also got those goalkeepers that can defend behind the back four, nice and high, good with their feet. In Hugo Lloris. Uh, Just thoughts on on Joe Hart, where he's been pushed aside because he is not a sweeper. Um, <laughs> and I think that comes from the manager's philosophy. Um, everybody's got their own philosophy within, obviously, the Premier League and downwards. And, and if. Joe Hart doesn't fit into to, to Guardiola's um, system. system. Then, unfortunately, he'll know that. That's that's why he's obviously moved on, and they brought in Bravo, who hasn't had the best start. But I can remember a, a, a small, skinny uh, De Gea at, at United some seasons ago, and people were saying that he's not not up to it in the Premier League. I mean, give him the season, and I'm sure he'll be he'll be fantastic. But well, we had a tough game today against uh, Chippenham Town. We're about uh, five or six minutes away uh, from that, and um, not quite sure what Ed Palmer's doing there. It looks uh, rather inviting. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, oh, it's a bottle of tea. Uh, <laughs> 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 have a bit later. But, uh, so you've been impressed with uh, so far what you've seen. It's been a bit of a, a strange season, hasn't it? Especially the hopeful. Ed and I have touched on that a, a couple of times, and um, I think uh, absolutely. I think if you look at, I mean, you've got the team sheet up there. They're, they're were some absolute names on there um, that would would hold their own in, in arguably League Two. Um, it, it has been hit and miss. We know that. We, we, there's no no one other than the players and the management that go home on a Saturday after a home game not not having won. When we play teams like Banbury and we should be winning these games, we know that. We're working really hard on the training field. Um, we're hoping to sort of push on from last Saturday. Um, and, and hopefully put, put it right. We, we need to put it right. We need. We know we need to put it right quickly. Um, also, I, I understand. Um, allegedly, there are uh, some new signings that are coming in. Um, uh, I can't say any more than that. So, uh, but uh, no more goalkeepers, though. No more goalkeepers. No, <laughs> no. But uh, we, we've only got one really at the moment, haven't you? In Paul. I mean, the problem there is if Paul White does get injured, yep. what is the backup? So we have. We have got the situation is that at Ketchum Town, you've got a number one goalkeeper to get someone else to, to then come on board knowing that they're going to be number two. It's very difficult to promote and, and to, to get those goalkeepers, it is difficult. We have, we have got our cast our eye over a couple of, of, of lower league goalkeepers in, in the UCL that we would be more than happy to bring in as a, as a number two. And, and if Paul White does get injured, then we're going to have to be in the market again and, and look to, to fill that. They're, they are big boost to fill and we need to get that right. Um, and I think we have got it right with Paul. Uh, we may have made a few mistakes along the way but I think with Paul White we've got a goalkeeper that, that can really sort of settle us down be that commanding figure that we've been after uh, and hopefully fingers crossed we can either win the league or, or absolutely go through the playoffs. Well you've heard it here first uh, from James there and uh, I totally agree with that it's getting on near to match time you need to nip off back to yep, the uh, chamber. Thanks for coming over no James I'm sure we'll have you on a little bit yep, later in the future. Great. Thank you. That's uh, James Alsgaard there the uh, Ketchum Town goalkeeping coach his views on goalkeeping in general as